Hey guys, today I'm doing another pack with me video. I did one of these, I think a couple months ago, right before we went to the Dominican Republic. You guys seemed to really like it and it was so much fun to film. So now we are headed to the beach. We're going to Myrtle Beach and I've never been there. So I'm really, really excited about it. I'm sure by the time you guys see this video, I have probably already been there and come back, but I thought this video would be a little bit different than my um, other pack with me video because I'm bringing different stuff and I already have everything laid out here that I think I'm going to be bringing. So I gotta just try to fit it all in my suitcase. I really tried really hard not to put too much stuff out so I might still have to narrow a few things down. But anyways, let's go ahead and get to packing. Hope you guys enjoy. So as you guys can tell, I have everything laid out here that I think I'm going to be bringing. The only thing I don't have out yet is all my makeup. It's actually still in my bathroom because I need to use it in the morning. So I haven't packed that yet but I'm pretty sure I have everything here that I need probably everything and more but I'm really trying not to overpack so many people in my last pack with me were telling me that I kind of overpacked a little and I was really trying not to in that um video too but this is the suitcase that I'm bringing I brought a CalPAC suitcase for my last trip this is a white one though and it's a little bit smaller than the humongous pink one. We're only going to be gone from Saturday till Wednesday. So it's not a super long trip. And Wednesday we leave really, really early in the morning. So I feel like that day doesn't even really count. I love these CalPAC suitcases though. And then I have this slip cover that goes over the top of the suitcase. I had one similar for my pink suitcases. And by the way, these covers for the suitcases really, really work. I had a clear one for my pink one and it worked out perfect. I'm so glad I had it because, you know, the airport's always really, really rough on your luggage. So I have a different cover for this one, but Joshua used this cover for our last trip and it worked out great. So hoping to use it again. It still seemed like it was fine. And then I have my packing cubes over here. I just have three of them. And if you guys don't have packing cubes, they just make um, packing so much easier it makes everything like so much more organized and I just really love it and it's really easy to find stuff because I hate when I get to my destination and all my stuff is just everywhere so those are just from TJ Maxx that's from TJ Maxx too and then the cover is actually from Amazon and I'll link these covers down below I'm going to start with my largest packing cube here guys you got to get packing cubes if you don't have them already I'm just gonna start putting like my everyday outfits and I'll show you guys what I'm bringing as well. I'm guessing Myrtle Beach it should be pretty warm hopefully so I am bringing one pair of ripped up denim jeans. These are like the only pants that I'm bringing to. I'm bringing this really cute little tank top from Express. These shorts which I love they're new from Target and I love them. You guys need to go get them and I'm just going to pair that with just like a basic little white tank top really cute and then I have a pair of jean shorts from Express and a pair of white shorts from Express then I'm bringing just a couple tank tops this one and this one I'm assuming we're gonna be pretty casual while we're there and then just in case it does get cold I brought this long sleeve t-shirt because I love this. Um, this would be just if it's like cooler outside and I just want to throw it on with like a pair of my jean shorts or I can always just like wear it while we're lounging around and stuff like in the house. So I also have a pair of sweatpants just to wear like while I'm lounging and then I did bring just a little lightweight sweatshirt from Target. It's very very cozy just in case like it's cold in the house with the air conditioning and stuff. I am going to be bringing two pajama sets. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, can we switch up all the rules? Next, I'm going to be using my little medium-sized bag, and I'm going to be packing all of my workout stuff. Joshua said we're going to be working out pretty much every single day that we're there, so I'm just going to say, like, three of the days, and I do not like to re-wear 
workout clothes so i'm bringing three outfits i have three different pairs of shorts all nike <laughs> i love these white ones and then i have a gray pair so three pairs of shorts three little tanks three sports bras though where did my other sports bra i have a black sports bra too i gotta find that <laughs> i'm gonna live inside the upside down So next I have all my swimsuits and my undergarments. I think I'm gonna do my undergarments in this part of the suitcase. And then I think I'm gonna use my last little small packing cube here for my bathing suits. And honestly, there's even more room in this medium sized one. I pretty much stuffed the big one to the brim. That has like all my clothes in it. And then this just has the workout clothes. So I'm gonna do swimsuits and then undergarments and socks. Stuff like that in this outside little zipper pouch. Oh, and I also wanted to mention I am going to be bringing this little kimono as my swimsuit cover-up. I love it. I wore it in the Dominican Republic, and it is so beautiful and so cute. So I don't have that much more that I have to pack. I was gonna bring this little bag for wet bikini, but I don't think I'm gonna bring it. I don't think I'll need it. Um, okay, so all I have left are my shoes. These are my new beach shoes from Target that I think are really, really cute. So I think I'm just gonna throw all my shoes on this side with all of the clothes. And then I also just got these. These are new. These are also from Target. And I'm going to be wearing these as slippers around the house that we're staying at because I just think they're so cute and they're very, very comfy. And I just hate walking around barefoot. And then I'm going to be bringing um, my little Tory Burch flip-flops as well. Um, that'll like go with my outfits and stuff. So those are really the only shoes that I'm going to be bringing for like to wear with all my different outfits during the day. These will be for the beach. And then I am going to be bringing my running shoes, but I'm going to wear that with my airport outfit. My airport outfit is just the same exact thing that I wore when I was going to the Dominican Republic. I'm wearing my little Athleta leggings that are so stinking comfy. I love these leggings. They have black little zippers on them, so I feel like it's fine to wear black with them. I'm just gonna wear this little black zip up from TJ Maxx and then Kind of that charcoal gray tank top just with my sneakers. I think it's supposed to only be like 50 degrees in the morning. So that's why I need the jacket. And then when we get there, it should be pretty hot. So I'll have the tank top. These are all of the toiletries that I'm bringing. I'm not really going to do anything with, um, with my hair while I'm there. We're leaving early in the morning and I just blow dried my hair today. If I do, I'm probably just going to let it air dry and just wear it curly. And if you guys saw... Um, any pictures or like our vacation vlog from our Dominican Republic trip, my hair was very curly while I was there. Um, and that's just like my natural hair. And these are the two products that I used. It was just like this Tresemme mousse. And I only got this stuff because it was travel size. And then a Moisture Barrier Firm Hold Hairspray by John Frieda. So these are the only two products that I used. A lot of you guys were asking me. But I honestly just have like natural curls. So when it's really hot and really humid, my hair just gets even curlier. Um, so I'm only bringing these two products. And then I'll probably just let my hair air dry. And then if it stays straight, then... I might just put a little bit of curl in it with my big curling iron. I'm not bringing a blow dryer or anything. And then this is my toiletry bag. Just going to bring some deodorant. I have some body wash, cleansers. This is the shampoo and conditioner that I'm bringing. Just Tresemme because um, these are just the travel size ones that I had. Um, dry shampoo because if I'm not washing my hair, I'm definitely going to need that. Um, this razor is awesome because you don't need any shaving cream. Like, it has, like, a soap bar on the end, so I'm bringing that. Heat protectant for my hair, just in case. Body lotion and a brush. So, those are all of my toiletries, um, things that I'll be using 
every single day and then over here this is just kind of like my nighttime stuff i have a shower cap um my toothbrush toothpaste tylenol just in case um we need it if we get hurt or something i don't know just being over prepared um contact solution my contact case so this is pretty much all i can fit in here and then i might just put this stuff like inside of my shower cap or something um and then over here this is going to be my little nighttime bag everything that i need like right when i go to bed so my face mask these are just my glasses are in there after i take my contacts out um this is my phone charger hand cream this is like the best hand cream in the entire world by Aveda. I love this stuff. And then I always put Vaseline on my lips at night too. So that's everything that I'll need for nighttime. I like to keep everything organized like in pouches too. Because I just feel like it just keeps things cleaner. And then I'm going to bring an SPF 55 for my face. This is just one that I got from Neutrogena. And then I'm already pretty tanned, so I'm just gonna be using an SPF 15. I feel like I held my tan really well from when we went to the Dominican Republic, so I'm just gonna use an SPF 15. I shouldn't burn or anything. So this'll be for my body, this'll be for my face, because I don't really like to get my face tan because of uh, aging and stuff like that. So it looks like I'm actually going to have some extra room in this bag. So I ended up moving my shoes over to this side. So yeah, this side's really full. And then this kind of just like clips in over here. So I'll clip that in. But yeah, there's going to be a little bit of some extra room. That never happens for me. And then yeah, this is just going to be my travel outfit tomorrow. Not bringing that bag. And then I'm actually going to be using this bag as my carry-on. This is going to be my beach bag while I'm there. This is new. This is from Target. This was just in my Target haul. I just think it's really, really cute and practical. This pouch can come out and then it's just a big, huge, clear bag. You can fit a lot of stuff in it. So I'm going to share with you guys everything that I'm going to be putting in my carry-on bag. I'm really not bringing that much stuff. I'm only bringing one pair of sunglasses. For my last pack with me, I brought like so many pairs of sunglasses. You guys were like... You are crazy. So this is the only pair that I'm bringing this time. I told you guys in that pack with me video that these were from Nordstrom Rack. And they're at, the brand on them is Bobbi Brown. Which I just like didn't even know Bobbi Brown made sunglasses. But I love these. These are like my favorite sunglasses now. They're just like so comfortable to wear. This is my little Kate Spade purse that I'm going to be bringing. And I'm just going to put that in my carry-on and it just has like my wallet and stuff in it and then i'm gonna bring one hat and i'm just gonna bring this little ball cap um a lot of times i would bring like a sun hat or something which i did that for my dominican republic trip but honestly i just feel like a ball cap is easier for a beach vacation um to pack because sometimes the wide brim hats if they're if they're not like a hat that you can smash down they're really hard to travel with and then i'm just gonna be bringing a book for our flight our flight's only like an hour and 45 minutes so um, I'm really not gonna have a ton of time on the plane um, and then I'm gonna be bringing my laptop and the charger in the earbuds and that's going in this case so yeah that's all gonna go in here I'm sure it won't even be like that heavy or anything that's all I'm going to be bringing in my carry-on so maybe I'll do a little bit of editing a little bit of reading and that's about it Expectations they keep weighing me down. My heart is begging. Guys, I love this bag as a beach bag. I think it's so stinking cute. Um, so yeah, and I love that it has like a longer strap on it because when I was traveling to the Dominican Republic, I just had a little wicker um beach bag, and that was my carry-on and it just had short little straps on it so it was really hard to use that as a carry-on but this is going to be super easy because it has the longer straps on it so I'm very very happy about that the only thing that I'm concerned about is that like going through the airport and stuff that since this is like a white bag 
that I'm just going to get it really, really dirty, like the straps and stuff. So we'll see. It was only like $19.99, so hopefully I don't ruin it because it is really cute. But I think it'll be great as a beach bag too, like super easy to wipe down and stuff. And I am all packed up now. I have everything in here. Um, I just have to buckle this over. And then I also just have to add my makeup bag in, but I'm going to do that in the morning after I put my makeup on and throw everything in the bag. But yeah, that'll be the only bag that I'm going to add to this and I have everything else that I need. And if I say it enough, it gets ingrained in my head and I start to think, honey, I'm a perfect day. So I am all packed up now, except for the makeup, like I said, but I got my little case on here, or my little suitcase cover on here. So as you can tell, we have used the suitcase cover one time, getting from Michigan to the Dominican Republic. It did get a little hole here and one here, but I'm, use, I'm able to use it a second time, and I would much rather have the suitcase cover to have a hole in it rather than the suitcase because you pay a lot of money for your luggage and the other side's good. Um, also, I got this in a little FabFitFun box and I just think this is really cute. It has my information in it and stuff and that way it'll also make it easier to find my bag too and like know what's mine because it's just going to be like a black basic suitcase. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little pack with me video. I'm very excited for our vacation. Give this video a thumbs up if you love pack with me videos or you love vacations. Leave a comment below. Let me know where you're going to be vacationing to next. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel or if you just haven't subscribed yet. And yeah, I'm all set and ready to go for the morning. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a really great week and I will see you really soon in my next video.